So a few days ago, Meta released a very interesting paper on a new architecture for LLMs. Meta's large concept models, or for short LCMs, could be the next big thing in AI. After this, we might not even call them large language models anymore. Instead, these models focus on something fundamentally different, concepts. Unlike LLMs, which process language at the token level, LCMs operate on abstract, high-level ideas represented as concepts, such as sentences or actions. This shift could resolve many of the challenges traditional LLMs face and fundamentally change how AI understands and generates language. This is where actually another researcher talked about the same thing. Humans don't think in tokens. And we actually can see this with the strawberry example, but there are other good examples like tokens are hard-coded abstractions in LLMs that lead to weird behavior. For example, LLMs can solve PhD level math questions, but cannot answer is 9.9 .9 greater than 9.11. And although this specific question was fixed in the newer O1 models, this type of behavior still exists in those advanced reasoning models. So Meta is shifting LLMs to LCMs, large concept models, changing the next token prediction to next concept prediction. Uh, he basically said a concept is treated as a sentence representing an abstract idea or action. Two weeks ago, Meta published the Byte Latent Transformer, a new architecture that possesses raw bytes grouped into patches instead of relying on tokenization. He says, my intuition says LCM is probably better at reasoning and modalities. Let's break it down. LLMs like GPT or Llama predict the next token in a sequence, working at the level of words or subwords. While this approach has powered tools that can write essays, code, and answer complex questions, tokenization is inherently limited. For example, LLMs often struggle with simple reasoning tasks like how many R's are in strawberry because they might treat strawberry as a single token, bypassing the details. This is why many researchers believe tokenization could be soon obsolete. So how do LCMs work? LCMs introduce a three-layer architecture. The first is a concept encoder. This layer transforms words or sentences into high dimensional embedding space, representing them as abstract concepts. For example, a sentence like Tim decided to train on his own is encoded into a conceptual representation that captures the meaning without being tied to a specific word or syntax. The second is the concept model or core. The core layer processes these concepts, it reasons about ideas, identifies relationships, and performs tasks without needing to focus on individual words. Think of it as outlining the big picture, grasping the meaning of a story or a plan. Third, and finally, is the concept decoder. The decoder converts processed concepts back into human readable text or speech. This allows the model to generate coherent, structured output in any language or modality. This design makes LCMs more capable and adaptable of reasoning hierarchically, similar to how humans think. Imagine preparing a presentation. You don't script every word. Instead, you plan key ideas and improvise the details. LCMs work the same way, focusing on concepts and refining them into coherent output. There are four main key innovations of LCMs, so let's go through them. The first is superior reasoning and planning. One of the biggest differences between LCMs and LLMs is their ability to explicitly reason and plan at multiple levels of abstraction. LLMs implicitly learn hierarchical structures, but LCMs explicitly model them. This makes them better suited for tasks like writing long documents, solving complex problems, or generating creative content. The second key innovation is multilingual zero-shot generalization. LCMs show incredible zero-shot generalization. Despite being trained on English data, they performed impressively in other languages without any additional training. For example, Meta tested LCMs on multilingual tasks. The third is new generative tasks. Meta introduced a task called summary expansion, where the model takes in a short summary and generates a detailed coherent text. LCMs excelled here, producing logical and structured expansions with less repetition compared to traditional LLMs. For example, from a summary of a news article, an LCM could generate an expanded version with consistent details and a clear narrative. The fourth is modality agnostic processing. LCMs work in an embedding space that isn't tied to any specific language or format. 
This means they could eventually process and unify text, speech, and even images. The potential for cross-modality application is enormous, from video captioning to multimodal translation. Now, let's take a look at how LCMs compare to LLMs. Meta tested several versions of LCMs, scaling them to 7 billion parameters and training them on trillions of tokens. These models were compared to existing LLMs like Llama 3.1, and the results were striking. Firstly, LCMs generated longer, more coherent responses in summary expansion tests. They also avoided common pitfalls of LLMs, like excessive repetition and losing track of context in long outputs. Furthermore, LCMs also incorporate innovations from Meta's JEPA, which is a joint embedding predictive architecture. JEPA focuses on abstract representation learning, discarding irrelevant details while retaining the essence of the output. Today, machines require thousands of examples and hours of training to learn a single concept. The goal of JEPAs, which means Joint Embedding Predictive Architectures, is to create highly intelligent machines that can learn as efficiently as humans. VJEPA is pre-trained on video data, allowing it to efficiently learn concepts about the physical world, similar to how a baby learns by observing its parents. It's able to learn new concepts and solve new tasks using only a few examples without full fine-tuning. VJEPA is a non-generative model that learns by predicting missing or masked parts of a video in an abstract representation space. Unlike generative approaches that try and fill in every missing pixel, VJEPA has the flexibility to discard irrelevant information, which leads to more efficient training. To allow our fellow researchers to build upon this work, we're publicly releasing VJEPA. We believe this work is another important step in the journey towards AI that's able to understand the world, plan, reason, predict, and accomplish complex tasks. LCMs are still in the early stages, but their potential is undeniable. Meta plans to extend this architecture to incorporate higher level information beyond sentences and explore multilingual training. By operating in a modality agnostic embedding space, LCMs could unify text, speech, and other data types, creating a truly universal AI system. While LLMs have revolutionized AI, they operate within the constraints of tokenization. And I feel like LCMs have the potential to challenge this paradigm, focusing on concepts rather than tokens. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts below and make sure to subscribe.